experience, that's for sure. Storm damaged your caravan awning? Your insurance should cover that. And Walker Crash Caravan Repairs will fix it fast, first time. Walker Crash Repairs, your RAA-approved crash repairer. Who flung tongue? Neutrox biologically activated nutrient-rich super mulch from garden stores. Neutrox.com.au. This is 5AA Weekends. 23 minutes to 8, Michael Keelan's weekend. 8223 0000 is our number. Just take it easy. It's better the Eagles. Uh, if you want to email us, you can do so. Facebook messages as well before we get to Dr. Yui. Uh, I love our audience, Michael. I love the weekend, the Michael Keelan's weekend mm. family. Uh, you can have a little bit of back and forward on yeah. the email yeah. or the Facebook. So remember we had a, uh, a photo earlier from uh, Rachel or Rochelle sure. uh, with the beautiful sunrise there at Roseworthy. So we just shot her a message back saying, P.S., is it Rachel or is it Rochelle, just out of interest? Because that'll annoy us. Is it Rockerly? For the rest of the day. Uh, no, it's pronounced Rochelle. Rochelle. But it's spelled Rachel with an E. Okay. Don't know why Mum and Dad decided to do that. I was born on Boxing Day. Perhaps it was something to do with the champagne and the wine on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so Mum and Dad have gone, right, this is how we're going to name you, but we're going to pronounce it. Because I cop that all the time. People sort of say... Why would your parents name you Leaf when your last name's Did, did they give you a good reason? Or? They just liked the name. Liked the name. They didn't think that people would but associate... But was there someone that they admired? Well, no. Funnily enough, they were Next reading the neighbor? advertiser and mm-hmm. a bloke had been arrested. Oh, Are you come done? on. I kid you not. I'll get mum on the show one day and, and she can Sheila. back me up. Yeah, correct. <laughs> she said they were reading the paper and a guy had done something heinous and his name was Leith. And they went, <laughs> gee, that's a nice name. <laughs> not realising. you burdened with that name for 40 odd years. Well, everyone thinks pe- my folks are hippies because, you know, <laughs> well, you've got Leith. Well, we uh, sat next to them in the theatre. Right. Leith and a forest it has mm. nothing to do with it. But anyway, so thank you, Rochelle. Great to have you part of uh, the show. I wonder where Yui comes from. Well, where does it. the name Yui come from? Hey, Yui, where are you generational from? Generational thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I, I looked it up. I don't think there is really a, a proper, um, what would you call, ancestry for the name. I mean, there is a there is a, a Nordic name that's a bit similar. Yep. U-W-E. Is it yeah. short for anything? Or no, it's you, not. No. We. No, it's not short for What anything. did you cop at school? You would have ever. Oh, I, copped, I, copped, I got lobbed at school. I we? mean, I, I grew up in a day when, uh, you know, uh, political correctness was not really. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, you know. so you can't tell us your nickname? Oh, you like to no, tell no, us I, in the. I, I mean, I, I used to call it Hoover. Oh. <laughs> Hoover. Yep. Um, some people call me uh, Yui, you. Um, I've called, they called it lots and lots of them. Hey, you. Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes you turn around and you go, I oh, know. No. <laughs> Yeah. That's cool, though. So, yeah, yeah no, I've, had, I've, had, I've had various names. So, Do parents like... really think before they give out a name? Oh, I'm I mean, sure. come on. No. Some of the modern ones these days. Yep. We said that when we did David David for Conversations. Mm. Graham asked him that. That was the first question. Of all the names your parents could have mm. chosen, and a more respected man in yeah. life yeah. you will not find That's than right. Dr. David David. Of all the names to choose, you... Michael, Michael. You chose David. Around yeah. The place. yeah. Yep, Donald McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Just pick another name. But anyway. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, if you look, if you look at the, the Swedes, they often have Eric Erickson. Mm. Yes, so that's right. Eric, son of Eric. Yeah. Or Jacob Jacobson. So mm. That's weird. Yeah. Now, we're not here to talk <laughs> No, we're not. They may Sorry. surprise you. <laughs> Sorry, Rochelle. <laughs> Sorry, you. Uh, but we are talking a product that we've already given, given away, the gigantic... Uh, for fruit and citrus. That's right, yep. I thought, talk a little bit about uh, fertilising, you mm. know, your fruit trees. And a lot of people ask, well, you know, is it is it the right time to er- fertilise? Is it too early to fertilise? I say it's never the wrong time to fertilise. You just have to be careful what you use. So certainly, you know, now is a great time. Many fruit trees uh, are done. You know, I mean, if you've, you know, picked the last of your plums or, or whatever, uh, in my case... The uh, rainbow lorikeets managed to grab every single plum. Did they? Um, <laughs> apricot and Gee, peach love. this year. What sort of plums you got? I love uh, plums. Suma plums. Oh, they're, my, they're, they're my favourites because you can make great jam oh. out of them. They freeze really well to make Just plum eat, cake. Just eat them off and the eat tree. Them straight off the tree. But this year, not a single one. So, God. yeah. I got hammered badly by the birds. I think when they find out you've got a tree, they call every neighbour they mm. know. Well, a name comes. like you, too. You, over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we spoke to the, Go to Yui's. the bird lady told us last week they talk to each other. They so do. they're probably they do. passing on down and the And Yui would be easy for a bird yeah. to say. Yui's house. Rather Yui's than house. Christopher or something yeah. like right. that, wouldn't it? <laughs> this bloke's got good plums, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> It's we won't go down that path. That's a different conversation. Oh, oh, 
So, you know, I, I guess it's it's really now that's the time that you can start thinking about using a fertiliser that's got a bit more oomph to it. You know, we were talking earlier when it's really hot, you don't really want to no. push a lot of leaves out because they're going to get burnt. So now you can start using fertiliser with a high potassium, high nitrogen, high phosphate, that sort of thing. And that's why... You know, it's a it's a great time to fertilise. And you spoke before citrus, for example. Mm. It's a great time to put something down for your citrus yes. as well. You, when you say you applied that fertiliser today, yep. When would the plant react to it? So if you if you use it today, and if you're prepared to water it in, yes. you'll get some of the soluble nutrients, and the plant yeah, will yeah. see that fairly quickly within right. within a week. Uh, is that right? Yeah, as but, quick as that. But mm. obviously, because it, it does take time to break down mm. to completely, you will end up with a, a program that will last probably for six to eight mm. weeks, depending on on the weathering, how warm it is, how much water you put on, and so really, generally, you see something after about a week to a fortnight then mm-hmm. it really starts to pick up and then it'll keep fertilizing for another six weeks after mm. that and then ideally you know you're getting towards winter mm. you may then you know cut back a little bit on some some plants others mm-hmm. you might give a bit more to but yeah that's really sort of what what you expect to see so why do a lot of commercial citrus growers or i don't know if they still do use just pure urea yeah, I think that's simply just a case of, of just trying to get as much nitrogen in there as possible. Right. I and mean, urea is just basically a really uh, rich and probably the cheapest source of nitrogen you can get. Right. So okay. a lot of people do that because that just gets you massive, massive amounts mm. of leaf. And uh, the other thing is, of course, I mean, it, you know, the plants look great then. If you get get them in a pot and they look fantastic, mm. they're leafy, mm. uh, they're, they're being watered all the time, maybe sometimes a couple of times a day. So having a massive root ball isn't isn't the issue if they're in a nursery no. because, they, you know, but once you get them in the ground, then you've got to be careful because uh, you yeah. know, tree can only carry as many leaves as what the roots can provide nutrients mm. and water for. I think a lot of people then end up, you know, being a bit disappointed because all of a sudden the tree starts to droop, some of the leaves start to drop off. So, yeah. The other thing is, of course, when you give them only urea, you because they're in a potting mix, they they you know they they go they go quite well. They don't see a nutrient deficiency. But then, if you continue to do that in the ground over time, you'll get nutrient deficiency. Mm. So things like iron, manganese, zinc, you'll start to get those yellow leaves. So a lot of people, especially in citrus, you see those yellow leaves where mm. uh, the the rest of the plant will be green and the, and the tips will still be yellow. So uh, that's normally a, a nutrient deficiency of something, mm. something like iron or zinc. In other cases, you might get the new leaves still staying green, but the old leaves going yellow, and that's then a deficiency of of some of something like a nitrogen or potassium because nitrogen potassium gets taken from old leaves and put into new leaves. But things like iron and zinc and manganese, once they're in the plant in a certain position, they can't actually move, so they're actually trapped in those new in the old leaves, so the new leaves suffer. Mm. So, but that's a complete yes, so again, it's balanced complete. formula. So it's, we, mm. we put extra iron in, there's a little bit extra boron because mm. a lot of plants, especially if you're going to be planting things like cabbages, now's a great time to start brassicas, a uh, bit of extra boron in here for, for strong, uh, healthy plants. There's some iron, some zinc. So it's really been balanced to ensure that mm. your plants don't suffer from any of those nutrient mm. deficiencies. Okay. stops you from having to go out and getting those micronutrients or yeah, those, that's right. those salts yeah. and throwing them around separately. You can just do it all in one. Mm. Oh, I know, but I can go back years ago when we would get uh, our customers coming in buying like six or seven different ingredients yeah. to make up their special blend, which I mean, is... You don't need to don't, do that, don't need to do that. No, no. no. I mean, so. I remember the old days. People used to put old bits of iron around the base of their citrus yeah, yeah, yeah. to try to, because <laughs> there's this idea that that, that would help, and mm. probably it does. I mean, the thing with iron is iron is a is an interesting element because it's not very very soluble at all, which is you know one of the reasons why if people are taking iron supplements, they're supposed to take it with something like uh, vitamin C because iron isn't taken up very readily. And for plants, it's very similar. Iron is okay. not very soluble. That's why we provide it, you know. It's good on T-shirts, though. It is good on mm. T-shirts, yes. Iron Man. Iron Man. That's very good. <laughs> very clever. Is the number 26, is that the 26 element, is it? That's right, yeah. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to know all those at school. Oh, yeah, so I. Oh, that might boy, actually be atom- that might be atomic weight, actually. So, yeah. yeah, it's atomic weight. That's right. So... Uh, all right, you have anything else to say with... Um... Well, I guess the other thing is that it's a, it's a really... I mean, I heard somebody, the people from Diggers before speak about mulching. Yes. And, and how it's... Uh, Maryland. Maryland, that's yeah. right, yes. Um, 
and I agree with her, you can't really put mulch onto really dry soil. So think about watering well mm. and, and then still put mulch down because now is a great time to trap some of that warmth in the soil, mm. especially for some of those plants that love to have warm feet. So your citrus like to have warm feet. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the other plants that you've got around the place, they really like to have warm feet. They don't like the cold and it won't take, you know, much in the way of a, a couple of showers and a couple of cold nights and the soil will cool down. And then if you're going to put in new plants, which is a Again, a great time to put new Perfect, plants in. Isn't it? Mm. You want to keep that warmth in because that's what's going to develop those roots mm. and get that plant up and running for next spring, which I know sounds like a long way away, but it's going no, to come around not. very quickly. <laughs> Dare I say it's only weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're almost three weeks into autumn, aren't we? Well, really? that's right, yes. When you yeah. think about it. Yeah. And uh, winter starts in June and then bingo. That's right. All of a sudden, spring's knocking on the door. That's right. And, you know, you can't, you can't develop a good root system in spring mm. because the soil is cold. Mm. You can always put more water on mm. if you think it's a bit too dry, yes. but it's impossible to really get uh, warmth into the soil. Yeah, so that, that was proven to me years ago when I planted out in, in autumn um, some uh, glory vine mm -hmm. for a job. It was quite a big job in Burnside Village oh, yep. years ago, well, 30 years ago. And... Um, uh, the architect said, oh, what do you plant them down for? You know, they're going to drop their leaves, blah, 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 blah. What happened, though, that sure enough, they did drop their leaves, but while the ground was still warm, the, 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 the engine room mm -hmm. is developing, settling down, and come spring, they just went bunter. That's right, yep. They, they were ready to go. They yep. were sort of like, you know, like horses just going out of a starting gate. That's right, and that's you know that's why that's why you put the fertilizer down mm. now. The plants take that up; they're the nutrients. They store mm. them, and spring comes along, and they're off and running. Yes, um, because you know the flower development of, of leaves and everything that's to a great degree determined by your daylight hours. So temperature has something to do with it. But you know, a plant will put will will grow quite actively even if the roots. And the soil is still quite mm. cold because the daylight's getting longer. So if they've got the nutrients, they'll actually start pushing mm. out leaves and flowers, and you'll end up with with a better harvest and much healthier plants yes. the year after. Yui, as always, great f to hear from you. I noticed you go stretch this out to three pages now. Was it? Didn't always yeah. used to be two these notes. Well, no, we don't we don't always go from the notes. I noticed too. <laughs> no, no. Well, <laughs> They can go out the window. Uh, Yui, if people like to contact you. Yes, uh, info at neutrog.com.au. Terrific. Uh, or Facebook page is another place you can contact Dr. Yui will be back next week with more information. But uh, Gigantic is for fruit and citrus. We've given away the four it's kilogram pack. Very generous. Yes, too, I thank you. I don't thank you for that. Uh, and that will be going on citrus. That's right. Um, yep. The caller had a dwarf orange tree. No, um, Washington Naval, and uh, well, this will, last, this will last him for years. I reckon it will. There you go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do the neighbourhood. Probably have to do like I mean, I, th I think you have to use about two hundred grams for his tree, yeah. maybe three times mm. a year. So this, this should last him next five mm. years. There you go. <laughs> on one tree. <laughs> you can find out more as Dr. Yui mentioned, neutrog.com.au, and of course, Neutrog available at all good hardware and garden stores, and neutrog.com.au. Thanks again, Yui. Appreciate Cheers. you coming in. No problems. Thank you. Our Iron Man, Dr. Yui.